Hello, Rick off here. Welcome to video number 41 of Rick's Pipe Dream Magnetic Motor Generator Project Series. In the last video I installed a fourth arc plate on the flywheel with no magnets and ran a test to determine what effect this would have when compared to previous performance. Since then I populated plate number four with magnets and ran an elapsed time test. The results were not at all good, which I pretty much expected. In my experience, any time that you lay out an unbroken string of magnets more than halfway around the rotor, the performance suffers greatly, and this was no exception. Here are the results. As you can see, rotation halted at the end of the third magnet group. The gap time for section one which in all previous tests had been around 68 to 71 hundredths of a second, more than doubled and became the slowest group. I actually had eight magnet groups for this test, but since it never progressed past the third group, I had to calculate the figures for the percentage fields. Needless to say, the prototype definitely doesn't like this arrangement. So, I removed plate number four and also plate number three because I wanted to run a test on just the first two plates and magnets to see if the gap times through those four magnet groups would be faster than they were in the six group arrangement. Here are the averaged results of a five test series. As you can see, the two plate test showed improved performance through each of the magnet groups. Thus, there is no need for a third inline plate. Now, I also ran a comparison test between the two plate and one plate configurations, and here are the results on that. As can be seen, there's not much difference for the gap times, although the single plate configuration definitely won the comparison. Therefore, I am going to do some more work on plate number one to see if I can further improve its overall elapsed time and to give special consideration to dramatically improving the gap time of section two. The faster I can go through the plate, the more momentum the flywheel will have, and that is important when attempting to go beyond the tail end of the plate. So, I plan to first concentrate on a layout that will give the quickest possible elapsed time, and then I'll move on to solving the reverse attraction at the tail end. Regarding the reverse attraction, the last magnets of the plate actually pass by the stator before being drawn back towards it. I thought I would set up an experiment to determine the actual distance between the end of the magnets and the point of reversal, and I'll show that to you now. Here we go. Now it's pretty difficult to focus on that while it's in motion. So I grabbed this freeze frame view at the precise moment where the um, rotor stops just before being reversed, right at the point of reverse attraction. Okay, and you can see that the last two magnets on the plate have gone past the stator somewhat, and um, of course they'll be snapped right back the other way because of the reverse attraction. So we're going to work to overcome that, and I have several methods in mind to cure that. Okay, and uh, the, so the later experiments will attempt to extend that distance until there is no reversal. I'd like to thank you for watching and for your continued interest in the Pipe Dream Project. This is Rickoff signing out.